Well, happening today, Nueces County leaders will discuss a pre-application to the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation worth, get this, up to $10 million. Sunrise reporter Victoria Baldarama joins us live in studio to tell us what this money is going to be used for and where it's even coming from. Good morning. Good morning, and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation is asking for assistance to improve water quality in Corpus Christi Bay. It's all part of a competition put on by the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Different organizations have been asked to think of a green infrastructure project to create habitat, improve water quality, and provide some protection to infrastructure on land. So far, the Ed Rochelle Foundation, the Port of Corpus Christi, and the Mott McDonald Engineering Firm have all taken part in the project which would include the construction of an artificial reef. It's conceptually and in the end when it's finished it'll look like um, riprap rock you know in different segments. It won't be continuous but it'll be you know connect with the old Rincon channel which is over there just north of where North Beach is just where the where the causeway starts and goes into uh, Portland. Scott Cross, the director of Nueces County Parks, says the approach to this project is new but will positively impact water quality, stabilize the shoreline, and create more fish habitats. In that particular area, you have wind-driven waves and you have ship traffic waves. And also the breakwater will help to stabilize some of the erosion that's, going, that's, that's happening around the lakes. So the pre-proposal is due April 21st. Cross says $31 million has been secured in match funding and Nueces County is also contributing. Nueces County commissioners will decide whether or not to approve the grant request for $7 to $10 million during commissioner's court today, which starts at 8.30 this morning. Reporting in the studio, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 Sunrise.